Welcome back to my Enchanted Islands playthrough. Uh, essentially, where are we at? Where are we at? We are. We just finished the Aesthetic Monk and shit's on fire. And not like fire, like I said previously when it came to um, burn down the resistance. I. Yeah, stuff it. I'll just cook because I can. Essentially, Obero is attacked. Well, obviously, because you're the hero, you have to sort of rescue people. Uh, best to double check. Nothing. Huh. Awesome. Awesome. So, I... Does it tell you where to go? It doesn't. If that's the case, go where the people are. They did change the music up. It's actually... Quite fitting. How would you be? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oboro, why? Why do you burn our village? I am under orders from Lord Togemune. Nonsense! Lord Togemune would never order such a thing. Do you really believe that? What? You seek to stifle your disappointment in him with a mask of devotion and belief. Is that what allows you to go on living? <laughs> oh, I am different. I will use that slob for all he is worth. Ever the pragmatist. You animal! He is your lord! I'll take advantage of him while I can. That's all. Why you? You plan on fighting my ninja wounded as you are, do you? Ridiculous, Sayaka. Now, die. Wait! Who is there? We meet again, Oboro. Time for a little payback. Get away from Sayaka, you ninja freak! No, please. This is my battle. Do not get involved. We caused this. Rygar! But... I'll say it again. I will not give up. My vow to Lady Corrine, nor my feelings for you. Rygar! <laughs> Such heartfelt words. But prepare to learn that emotions only lead to defeat in battle. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Raga. He seems so very stoic. For better or for worse. What also annoys me, uh oh, I've worried with ninjas. Ugh. Um War is not strong. I mean, I could use Force Pain. It's just so weak. Ugh. So not worth it. Not yet, at least. Um, stuff it, High Charge. Nah, uh, she'll get wrecked if I do that. That is... Oh, she can one-shot one. Awesome. You're pretty close to one-shotting one as well. So this is something that I don't understand, and it seems to be very consistent whenever swords or guns are involved sort of thing, is the whole, oh look, let's talk, and not stab everybody, you know? Impulse, not that strong. Shadow self. You're annoying. Um, Mega Earth Strikers, River Ninja. Uh, yeah, actually, why not? I don't think it's worth it. Oh. Hmm. You know what, I've changed my mind. We're going to do this one a little differently. Okay, everyone got its numerous max, so... If that's the case, it doesn't matter what I do. 
Go up, that'll kill everything. Actually, we'll use where I got lost. Hmm. I got a slash. Damn charging cables in the way. So let's see what it is. Oh, does he take away their, um, uh, EP as well? Because that would be kick-ass. But I honestly don't think. Finally, I'll bury you. I have nothing against you personally. I hate your anger, but your death will lead to my clan's glory. Thus, you must die. Wow, it actually decimated his, um, EP. Only problem is he is ruined. Um... 100% ruined. That's it. I take back what I said about Force Bane. Force Bane's alright. <laughs> I'm having a chuckle at those, um, the laser guns. More than mere words. Of course. Oboro. Prepare yourself. With you gone, Lord Tokimune should come back to his senses. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no. Come back to his senses? <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? What? I told you. I am simply using him. That man is a born fool. You can make no difference now. That idiot is too far gone to be saved. What do you mean? No! That's right. He intends to revive the Lord of Earth. <laughs> but once he succeeds, he will be the first to die. I shall never allow it. Huh. With those wounds, I don't think you'll be saving anyone. I am not like you. So long as no harm comes to my clan, I can turn my back on the gods themselves. Dog! <laughs> Listen to me, Hal. Farewell. Wait! Sayaka! Sayaka, are you okay? Raikar, I am fine. You must go to Lord Tokimune. Sayaka! Don't worry, Raikar. She's only unconscious. That's definitely a reason to worry. Life is not in danger, but she needs to rest for a while. Lord uh, Tokimune. Why does she still defend him? Perhaps it was something her real father said to her. Her real father? I am not her father. I'm her grandfather. Her real father was once very close to Lord Tokimune. But when he remonstrated with Tokimune over the war with London, he was cast out. However, he did not think ill of Lord Tokimune for this. Rather, he regretted it deeply, believing that he had betrayed his lord's trust. I see. So that's why no one speaks up to Tokimune anymore. That's terrible. So Sayaka wants to serve Tokimune in place of her father? But this is taking things too far. Rygar, what shall we do? What do you think? Stop Tokimune, for Sayaka's sake. Of course. I'll help out too. Thank you. Well then, to Kyoto Castle, there lies our enemy. Oh yeah. I like that. That is cool. That is actually pretty awesome. 
So it's pretty heavily implied that the aesthetic monk is is uh, Thing's father. Um, oh, EP plus twenty percent. Not worth it, but I'm still gonna have everyone light it, just in case it it's actually becomes worth it later on. Oh. High Q dance, Mega Q dance. Oh, cat's still there. And... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The aesthetic monkey is pretty cool. Is pretty damn cool. Honestly, I don't understand the um, whole... mask thing. Like, usually when you hide your face, it's because of... Um, a cut. Or, you know, you know, like scarring or, or damn backtracking, eh? Damn backtracking. You're doing it for a particular reason. Um, to protect yourself, to protect others from the view. Maybe it's a little bit of vanity. But I don't understand the aesthetic monk's reasoning behind wearing a mask. No one here knows who he is. Even... Sayaka doesn't know who he is. And I'm assuming um, uh, Jose does. That's a big assumption. Never a fan of backtracking. Uh, that is where we came from. That is something that's a little weird to me. As in, you've got green mountains there, you've got a pile of rocks there. Where the desert is, sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> the little frog. Hmm. And then you have green mountains that way, desert that way. I suppose they have taken a bit of thought into thinking about their um. Give me a second. Look at the map. Yeah, that does make sense. But then, just a bit beyond it, you still have green mountains. It just seems a little odd have it that way. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how... I, I do think we fight up Oro again. Honestly, I don't think he's going to stop. And if I am right, I'm under the impression he doesn't die either. I think he gets to be the man that walks away. Which is a little odd. It's also a little odd that his he cares so much for his clan, but his clans are effectively suicide bombers. You know, I mean, how can you care for your people so much and you'd have them um, use the ability spoil sport? Um, I mean, I suppose they're dying anyway, so it doesn't matter, but still. Still. Look at that. Not that many battles. Yeah, I probably jinxed myself, but. Yeah, I know it! Called it. City. But we'll just be caught if we try and fight our way through the main entrance. Hmm. What should we do then? <laughs> you appear to be in trouble again. You again? The handsome one. We meet again, senorita. Bambina. We're in a hurry here, okay? What do you want? Why, to help you, of course. You could be a little more polite to me, you know, after all I've done for you. Help? Yes, I have an idea. What kind of idea? That's a secret. A secret? I'll wait for you in front of the Kyoto Castle Gate. Prepare yourselves, then come and find me. Oh, man. What should we do? What do you think? Go after him. I do like the whole secret man thing. I mean, it's really, really obvious who it is. Uh, if you haven't gotten I'm not spoiling it for you. Um, the whole... He seems to be... A bit different to what you'd consider a main hero, as in, you've got something called plot armor. Everyone's pretty much aware of what that is. Essentially, main character is not going to go down. And even if they go down, they're not um, going down for long enough for it to mean anything. I mean, uh, what's an example? Just go look at Show and Jump. I think they have plenty of examples in there. But 
the mystery man he he his purpose facilitates the progression of the plot if you take a look at most parts all he's really done is told you which direction to go and maybe um, allowed people to meet up with each other and his outfit does look pretty cool there you are you cannot turn back from here. Are you ready? Yep, ready for whatever you've got in store. Very well, then follow me. I shall open a path for you. You there, guard. What do you want? I think I might have something of interest here. Really? Like what? Criminals. I caught them myself. What? Criminals? Where? Yeah, where? This one. Uh, me? Hey, what are you trying to pull? Her too. Wait a minute. And her, I see. <laughs> uh. That big fellow. What are they accused of? Planning to assassinate the Shogun. What? To kill Lord Tokimune? Unforgivable. Find them, quickly. Hey, wait a minute. Just what do you think you're doing? Quickly, tie them up before they try to escape. Yes, of course. Let me go. Atsuma, stop it. What? Just play along. Right, I see. Me too. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Come on, we'll deal with you inside the castle. Can I accompany you? I'd like to be rewarded if possible. Yes, of course. It's a bit weird that they didn't um go down kicking and screaming. I know they've they've they tried to do a. Uh, what do you call that? Back when it was in prison with Corinne. The whole faking an act. You would think they would have tried that again. Well then, time to get a confession out of you. Huh? You're in no position to react like that. Plotting to kill Lord Tokimune? You'll be lucky if you see tomorrow. Hey. What now? There's just one thing I'd like you to do for me. Yeah, what? Collapse. Huh? Ta! Oh, just as I requested. Thank you so much. Come on, then, set us free! Is this how you treat your savior? Thank you. My thanks. You've saved us again, but isn't it about time you told us who you are? You do see more than just a handsome face. That doesn't matter. Hurry to Tokimune. Yeah, you don't have to tell us twice. <laughs> that just seems like a really, really odd way to get inside the building and achieve little at the same time. Like, like what was the point in that? I suppose that it fits within the plot, but still, but still. I still don't understand why there's a ship here. I mean, it looks like a ship. really does look a bit like a barge. Ah, mm. uh, what's wrong button? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm assuming we're still going here. Hey, who are you? A warrior of love. What are you doing? Take this. Another beautiful performance oh. on my part. So bad. So bad. Yeah, if you do say so yourself. Here comes some more of them. Well, what's going on out there? Look! Intruders! Intruders! Seize them! Hey! What are we gonna do? This looks bad. Huh. I've got it all under control. I'll take care of this. You hurry to the audience room. Okay, good luck. Hmm. Such a bad performance. Such a bad performance. So after the Lord of Earth, we only have, I think, two more places to go to in this game, which is the Sage's Tower and um, uh, there's another place just beyond that, and then obviously the side quest. Go 
going on out there? What is all the commotion? I can check for you, my lord Tokimune. No, no. No need. As long as you are here with me, Honoka, my sweet, I need nothing else. <laughs> oh, Lord Tokimune. No flirting, my lord. Please, stop that. Oh, come now, my dove. You like it. Ooh. <laughs> That's the end of your fun and games. What? Whatever is the meaning of this? Tokimune, we are here to stop your scheming. What? What are you talking about? You can't weasel out of this now. The whole world is going to see everything you've done. What? I have no idea what you mean. Oboro told us everything. We know you're planning to revive the Lord of Earth. What? That Oboro useless fool! Tokimune, we will stop you by force if we must. Huh! Do not underestimate me! Tokimune bodyguards, attack! Wow. Nah, never shall he be harmed! Tokimune bodyguards! What? A troop of female golems? How tacky! You pervert! He should be ashamed at his age! As you say. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! This is how I like it! You don't get to judge! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I honestly just don't want to judge. Please be another one. Yup. You infidels. Um, that's the wrong use of the word again. Infidel is a person who goes against religion. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's the wrong word. I have spirit skills. I could crush you. Spirit skills, come on. Let's see what you got. Let's see what he has. High dance. Um, boost his own parameters. Return dance and HP drain. So he ain't. Uh, that is silly. Uh, she not dead. Why not? I know we can revive one. But pretty much just gonna get Ragar on that so just to decimate stuff. I don't think this is really a challenge. Barrack, so. Yeah. Flare and pulse. In fact, that's probably the worst place they could have moved to. Um, I wonder if I could just use Mega Blade. 620. Um, only because I really don't want to get decimated by Anoko, because I think she is much stronger. Oh, wow. Damn combo. Oh, yes. I can break up, it means you can't revive them. That's good. Bloody little token really. it's just... I'm actually sort of disappointed, I sort of expected more. How dare you, my darling defenders. That sweet soap lap, give me back my pillow. Should I pure dog? No. <laughs> no more sweet soap lap for you. Let's finish this token really. So he does revive them, but... Uh, 
She can finish this. X cutter. Ah, oh, you can't actually do anything. Stand by for you. And yeah, that'll do. I think that'll be it. It's actually quite disappointing as a fire. And this music is tacky, that's for sure. I'm glad it stopped. That takes care of your pretty little bodyguards. Tokimune, accept your fate. Uh, someone! Is there no one there? Aboro! Aboro, where are you? Uh, I don't think he's going to show. Aboro, you cretin! Worthless, disloyal! I should have killed off the ninja clans! Lord Tokimune, did you call? Well, don't scare me like that! Get me out of here, Aboro! As you wish. It's my screen. That clipping with the scarf in the face. Damn it! Another smoke bomb! Where are Oboro and Tokamone? They've gone! They've got away! And we were so close! We've got to hurry after them! They must have used a secret passage. Let's search for it. Hmm. Direct 20%. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for for ages. Um. Skills, let's see Learn. Skill. Passive. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't care for twenty percent speed. Do care for twenty percent direct, but probably going to get ambushed a fair bit more. But you, I don't care for. Um, gate seven hundred and twenty. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. That is such a boost in strength. Um, seriously fine? Really? Oh. Not even a message, just a notification, really. So if I had to guess, it's not even in here. Oh. Maybe this one? I'm not sure if it's actually in here. I think it's actually um in a different area. Yeah. I actually think it's where the um what do you call it? His secret love room. Passion Paradise or whatever it was called is. That's where I would have put it. I think we can go in there now. A secret passage, where could it be? I have some experience with these things. Really? Located in private places, somewhere private, okay. Awesome. So his bed is probably uh, any place where it could be, but only because oh, I want to go in here. Let's do it. What's this place? Everything is so gold and I boy we are looking at the skull. Calm down, Yuki, what is this place? A lavatory. This is a bathroom. Wow, okay. Even the toilets are made of gold. Who would have thought it? Yeah, it is their toilet. Huh. Uh yeah. Toilet. Yep. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Because uh, I'm not getting attacked by enemies, so I might as well look proper. A proper look. I still think that's pretty funny. I wasn't prepared for that either. This looks like the entrance to a secret passage. Quickly, come on. Tokimune is getting away. Hey, I really don't want to go in there. We don't have time for this. Come on, my lady. We have to hurry. Okay, 
okay, but I'm holding my nose. Really can't blame you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, uh, uh, a borrow. What, my lord? Just wait for me. I can't uh, run anymore. Very well, my lord. Let us rest. Uh, oh, rest. How did it come to this? My lord, please tell me. If you intend to revive the Lord of Earth, does that mean you have the Magicor? What? Why do you ask? I simply wish to assure its safety. Worry not! The Magicor is perfectly safe! How can you be so certain, my lord? If I say it's safe, then it's safe! But what if it should fall into their hands, my lord? We should prepare for such a possibility. Where is the Magicor now? Enough, Aboro! The Magicor is completely safe! There is no such possibility! How do you know? The Magicor of Kyoto City was sealed inside the body of the Shogun at a young age! It is inside me right now! So of course it's safe! I see. Mm hmm? Well, now that I know that, I no longer need you, swine. What? There's some serious clipping. you down. Do you not get it, you imbecile? What? What is all this red? I'm so hot. Or is this pain? I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. Huh? With the Magicor of a Devil Golem, my clan will be safe. You are no longer of any use. Uh, I don't want to to squeal like the pig you are as you die. How did he get down there first? That is... Even I'm baffled at that one. Well, I mean, he could have followed after and not been part of the smoke bomb. But even then, like... Too late. Tokimune? Is dead? What happened? Oh, Sayaka. We were too late. But who did this? I'm betting that Oboro guy. Correct. You again? I'm here to help you. Tokimune was killed by Oboro, and the Magicor inside him was taken. The Magicor inside him? Right. The custom in Kyoto City appears to seal the Magicor inside the body of the Shogun. So Oboro killed Tokimune to get his hands on the Magicor. Again, correct. Well, this is another turn for the worse. I have more bad news for you, I'm afraid. She will soon appear at the Lord of Earth's temple. She? Ah! Atsuma, your arm! You mean, yes, the Queen of Ice. Bloody pronoun game. <laughs> so, what do we do next? I'm sure any number of people would want a Devil Golem Magicor. Oh, yes. Any number of people. For instance, me. If you give me what I want, then it's yours. I don't care even if you are a Devil Golem. Oh, really? Then maybe I'll just take it. And your reward. Let's see. How about... The honor of being killed by a devil golem. What? Huh? <laughs> Fi 
evil humans. Why are they all so superficial? <laughs> well then, let's go, Toya. It's time for the Lord of the Earth to wake up. The resonance seems to have passed. Hey! She's really here? Yes, unfortunately. She wants to revive the Lord of Earth. The Lord of Earth? Why? The truth is more complicated than you can know. You must hurry to the Lord of Earth's temple. Poor Tokimune. Not really. Bothers me not. Um. Cool. Treasure. Treasure. Of course, it's a thousand TB. This game, man. Giving me the crap is treasure, honestly. Hmm. What's the point of going up? Or oh, treasure. Ah, oh, not even that much money. What are you doing in my game? The allure of a ladder is so hard to resist. I think... Yeah. I know where we came out. Um, we're actually pretty close to... The Devil Golem. You know, there was a locked gate. That is roughly where we are coming out. Our core material. I'm actually just looking for a weapon. Uh, they do eventually. Um... I think they do add another weapon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the the next uh, best weapons of the god tier or the. Um... um. Oh, we don't have to go that far. Awesome. Ah, what have I done? Controller, come on! Don't be like this. I believe in you. My cable isn't exactly the best to recharge the old PS3 controller. And we're doing well so far. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, we do have a little bit of a... Damn! Yeah, so... Just because we have a metric fuck ton of... Um, thing, we're just gonna level up our direct. Oh man, this controller is getting the better of me actually ah stuff it I'll stop charging it it's not it's not working there we go um uh, went up by six awesome uh I think it's worth just dumping it into HP for you honestly and maybe some agility why not um, because you don't have that much HP, so uh, yeah, I dump, dump, uh, dump it into agility. I mean, her weapon does give it like max agility, but close enough to it. I don't think Raikou actually needs that much um, of anything, really. I pretty much got him at the stage where I don't think he's going to die very quickly. And the thing is, he doesn't even have his Moonlight weapon yet. Oh, cool. Golem. The, the straw thingy. Damn it, I don't even remember what it's called. I do know they're annoying, but... Straw Shaman. Mega Blade. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to get killed, but... Hopefully that gets me too. Awesome. 
that's not too bad. I mean, you can do something about that. Um, I don't exactly have the HP. Mega shot. Heal. And high charge. Why not? If they're just going to focus on the Rygar, then that's... Oh, it won't matter then. They're going to die next turn. Easiest buy. Two power gems. Shaman core. I just want to check. I think I might have a, a, a fair bit of um. What have we got? Yeah, I have a uh, so many cores. I'm definitely looking forward to Yuki's. Um. Better move. So we're pretty close. Spirit region. How does this battle go? That's a good question, and I do not have the answer to it. I'm tempted just to level up a level or two just to grind out, see if I can get the third EX move. EX move. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what, I really don't want to. Even though I know Rygars is broken. Uh, uh, I knew it. She's here. Oh, this is different from before. What's wrong, Atsuma? There's more than one of them. <laughs> that means both the Lord of the Earth and the Queen of Ice. Two of them. Hurry it up, Atsuma. Okay. This path is cool. I question artistic choice at times, but I don't question it here. This place is pretty awesome. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. little limb of yours is a smidgen too late. Queen of Ice! Toya has just fitted the Lord of Earth with his magic core. Toya! Well then, I'm finished here. Let's go, Toya. Yes, my queen. Hold on! Oh, my. Do you have time to be worrying about me? What does that mean? Atsuma, the Lord of Earth. I sort of wish I had Ragar's last um, EX move. It's so strong. There's no other way to put it. Uh, damage minus 90%. Oh, damn. He's got what creation too. Invoke. Sun's got on for use. Spirit Drain. And so does HP and EP. And it's not a small amount either. That's the case. So, uh, wait, wait a second. Does that say a thousand HP? Okay, that says a thousand HP. If that's the case, um, I can actually just one turn it. Um, uh, damage ninety percent. You know what I think it is? I think you are going to get wrecked by me. Actually, change that up. Oh no, I don't want you there. Want you there, you're not going to make it. Okay. 
Wait, what? Hmm. Spirit drum. And it's going to heal a massive amount. Nope. Oh, what's going on? Our team seems barely affect him. Lord of Earth is a defensive base golem. Unlike the other two, he is powerful. Protect and calm down. It's a massive defense move, hard, but we still have some effect. Let's just keep attacking it. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So I was 100% wrong on how to take this guy on. Learn from my mistake. Don't be shit like me. Thought no barrier would have worked. High arrow shot. Let's try it. What are you doing? Invoke, okay. Tree golems. He's healed himself, he's got the ability to generate too. However, you can neutralize that ability, can't you? The power of my arm. Use force vein. You don't when you practice Gaia. Um He said force vein. This is force pain. Yeah. Um I think you got that wrong, buddy. Uh tense ether power. I sort of don't want to use it, but at the same time, uh, stuff that you don't actually, oops, you don't actually need to be there. Gives me no reason to attack his minions, actually. So. That'll do. Hopefully this does a fair bit of damage. Awesome. That's not too bad, honestly. Oh, the force. Yeah, see, look, they've, they've actually got a spelling mistake. It's ability to generate no more HP, and you. So I finish him off. Um, 300. Uh, high. Oh. Actually, just out of curiosity. You do 320, so... Uh, x cutter. I can't do that. Mega Blow and... Um, actually, if that's the case, I'll go back. Um, Aqua Mist. Use Mega Blow. x cutter, and then... Mega drum roll, because it will actually kill the other one. I really just don't want to get uh, swarmed with um, enemies. Hmm. I think one more time we'll do it. Oh, not. Oh, creation. Okay, that's alright. Rhaegar will reduce the damage and for everybody, I think. And Yuki won't get hit. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Okay, so he's played out... Uh, he's outsmarted me on this one. Uh. So I should still kill him. Eh, look at that. Look at that. That's a lot of money. And a lot of SP as well. Did we... Do we get him? Wait. What now? This is bad. What is it, Atsuma? What are you so scared of? Hey, look that guy. Uh, now is the time. Use the Gaia if you have truly mastered it. Okay, here we go. The barrier! It's down! Atsuma, of 
amazing. That's not enough. Now, Atsuma, the Gaia. This is where the kid shows his stuff. You did it! Not a bad show, I guess. I try. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> Me too. Worn out. I'd like to take it easy for a while. Then please, rest here in my village. Sayaka. Sayaka, are you okay? Yes. I think so. Sayaka, I'm sorry. About Lord Tokimune? Yes. I was unable to save his life. Do not worry about it. It was not your fault. Indeed, it was my own foolishness that caused all of this. True loyalty is to question when your lord makes irrational choices. I should have... seen this sooner. There is still time, Sayaka. Although Lord Tokimune is gone, the line of the Shogun is not broken, and Kyoto City still stands. Lord Tokimune was certainly an active man. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I have never heard it put that way before. He has many potential heirs who can take his place. Then I hope you can find a new leader among them. Rygar. Now, talking of things for which there is still time, concerning you and me, that's enough, Rygar. Whoa. Come on! Things were just getting spicy. You may stay here, I suppose. I've made up beds for you all. Please, rest well. Hey, Rygar! You got a promotion! Out of the storeroom! Great! <laughs> Indeed. Cut EP use. That's why um, EP plus 20% is so useless, because you can just get cut EP use. It sort of also makes leveling up your EP pointless. At least from now onwards. So, they defeated the Lord of Earth. That's one problem solved. The Devil Golem was revived, but it caused very little damage, so that's good. But, I'm not sure about this. My emotions got away from me and I taught the kid the art of Gaia. It may be too much for him to handle. Eh? This is... The Lord of Earth's Magikor. It's been totally absorbed. Now it's just a stone. So where is the ether that was absorbed? Huh? Inside Atsuma? He's got the Emperor of Fire, and now the Lord of Earth inside him? So next, the Queen of Ice? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Chains of Fate? You've got a few new lines, haven't you? There you go again! Shut up! You're not having things your way anymore. Dream? I'm okay. I have Gaia. This arm. 
I can control it. Who's that? It's me. You were shouting. Are you okay? But Suma... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I I'm fine. I told you last night that we're going to plan our next move today. Huh? Yeah? You did? Yes. Sayaka and her father are going to help us too, okay? So come on, we need you. You're just a school kid, but you survived Yokohama. You sure you need me? Yes. We need input from anyone who has fought the Devil Golems. You need my arm, right? Huh? You don't need me. Just my arm. You want a kick? Sorry. At first, I suppose. I thought I'd use you like that, but not anymore. I want to help you. I want to support you, okay? Okay. That's settled then. Everyone is waiting. Come to the tea room. So, let's get started. Very well. First, let's discuss how to fight the Queen of Ice. But that is far too dangerous, Father. What? You girl dare to question me? If we draw her out like that, we could face another Yokohama. But taking the fight into her territory is just as dangerous. Using as much force as possible is the only way to defeat such a powerful foe. But we can't afford to involve innocence in such a struggle. We don't even know where she is hiding. My way is far more practical. But father... Listen, girl. Family shouldn't argue like this. Atsuma, please, stay out of this. This is Rygar's fault. You did what you were told before, girl. Now, look at you. This has nothing to do with Rygar. I have decided to be more true to myself, that's all. Anyway, so aside from where to fight her, you both pretty much agree on how to fight, correct? Well, yes. The highly trained troops of Yokohama, and then the brave knights of London. I thought the all the Yokohama got wrecked. Neither of those powerful forces could defeat the Queen of Ice. Taking that into consideration, defeating her straight out seems like an impossible task. The only way to stop her is to destroy her magic core. When you say destroy her magic core, you mean Toya, right? Correct, Atsuma. Although I hate to say this to one who saved my life, killing Toya is the only way to save the world. The only way to save mankind. But Toya is being controlled by her. Are you sure about that? What? This Toya. We cannot know for sure what he is thinking. And even if he is being controlled, there may be no other way but to end his life. The life of one for the life of many. We have no choice. No, we do. I have learned the art of Gaia. If I use that, maybe I can save Toya and defeat the Queen of Ice. The fate of the world hangs on that maybe. You succeeded against the Emperor of Fire, yes. But he was not totally bonded with the Magikor when you did so. He was also weak after fighting the Queen of Ice. And you had the power of Lady Karine on your side. One might almost call it luck. I hear that you lost control of your arm against the London City forces. Isn't that true? What if that? Were to happen again, the fate of the world rests on all of this. Mistakes cannot be made. Yes, that happened. But Atsuma has changed since then. I am not attacking him. Do not get me wrong. But too much rests on this. This boy, Toya, is his life worth risking the lives of everyone here? I can't... make a decision like that. Lady Karin. You have already lost your father to the Queen of Ice. Toya is with her, the one who did this terrible thing. Perhaps this colors your feelings toward him. I... Lady Karine, I know you were worried about Atsuma, but allow me to say this, rude though it may sound. As the leader of London City, you must not let personal feelings cloud your judgment. But I... I'm just going to get a breath of fresh air. Hey, look at that. Look at that. I'll, uh, equipped, actually, the cut VP use, um, when everyone jumps back in the party. Is Toya 
Worth risking everyone's life for? I don't know. But he is worth risking my life. Ah, uh, what would Toya want? I don't know. Toya, time for a little celebration. A bloody curtain has fallen over the Emperor of Fire and the Lord of Earth. The child with the right arm is performing magnificently, don't you think? It's hard to believe he really doesn't understand. He's merely his arm's puppet. <laughs> Next, it will be my turn. Then at last, the ancient command shall be unleashed. It has taken so long, and cost so much with the Golem War. But, in the end, all of that is meaningless. You understand why, don't you, Toya? You are coming with me to a new and yet familiar world. How long do you intend to maintain this silence? Surly child. Anyway, I noticed something a while ago. A mouse seems to have found its way into my beautiful castle. Mousy, mousy, no need to be afraid. Come on out. You want to talk with Toya, don't you? Come out then, or you'll die. <laughs> ah, a bigger mouse than I expected. I'm taking Toya. <laughs> <laughs> a mouse with a sense of humor. Why should I let you take him? I'll give you something in return, of course. This, your original magic core. Oh, you have that old thing, do you? I was wondering where it was. I thought that baddie professor had hidden it away somewhere. Mice are good at sniffing things out, aren't they? I'll exchange this for Toya, okay? No. What? This darling boy is my partner now. A devil golem and a magic cannot easily be separated once linked, just like lovers. And even if I weren't bonded with Toya, I wouldn't touch that ugly stand-in. So no, no deal. Now then, Mousy, time to die. <laughs> Stop. Stop this, Queen. Toya, you've... Recovered. Queen, do not harm this one. Well, if you say so, Toya, then I won't. Toya, if you're not under her control, then what are you doing here? Why don't you try to escape? Answer me! Atsuma. Atsuma is so worried about you. <laughs> Atsuma hasn't given up yet? After all I said to him, really, he is a total pain in the... What? don't know. Yo, yo, yo. What's with that face? Hey, what are you doing here? I came to tell you something. Tell me what? You want to use your arm and save that whatever his name is, right? Yeah, like when I saved Kareen. If I use my arm. Naive, naive, naive. Naive as a newborn. Why? Think about it. Once a Devil Golem and a Magikor are bonded together, leaving the Magikor behind and absorbing everything else, well, that just isn't realistic. What? Why not? You'd just suck up the Magikor too, and that's that. Take a look at this. What is it? It's the remnants of the Lord of Earth's Magikor. Look inside, nothing left, hollowed out. Now, what do you think this process would do to a human, huh? Kill them? I should think so. Hey, hold on! That's no good! Good or no good, so what? It's the truth. But wait! I saved Kareen! I guess you were just lucky. And that explains it all, does it? Hold on, hold on, I've got more. You were lucky enough that certain requirements were met, is what I mean. Requirements? Like what? I don't know, really, but what I mean is, there is some kind of trick to this saving a Magikor business. So what should I do? Huh? How should I know? Wait! After all that, you just don't know? Ah, uh, why do I have to repeat myself? 
Do not be bound by common sense. Just because I'm the ascetic monk doesn't mean I know everything. You'll have to work the rest out for yourself. Hey, wait! Ah, off he goes again. I guess I need to discuss this with the others. Hmm. I wonder, is Toya really being controlled? I posed the question many times throughout this game so far, and the answer is you just don't know. At least not yet. I don't know then. Eh, uh, they are in the tea room. Hey, Kareen. Any progress? Nope. They are all convinced that the magic core must die. That's one hard-headed family. I guess I might agree with them too, if I were an outsider. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I've got something to discuss with you, actually. What now? The ascetic monk just paid me a visit and... So, simply put, just absorbing the golem with your right arm isn't enough to save the person inside? <laughs> we sure lucked out with you then, Kareen. That's no laughing matter! I was almost... hollowed out! Yeah. The Lord of Earth's magic core was like an empty shell. It's frightening to think I almost ended up like that. But you didn't. So stop thinking about it. I'm afraid we have to think about it. For Toya's sake. What can we do? It might not go so well next time. We need to talk to someone who knows about these things. But the aesthetic monk doesn't know anything. I can't see regular folk being too up on this stuff either. Hmm. Regular folk? Indeed. Rygar, do you have any idea? Uh, no. Uh, not really. Uh, not at all, in fact. Hey, Rygar, that reminds me. Didn't you once go to the Sage's Tower? Did I? Yes, I'm sure you told me you did. The Sage's Tower? Some wise woman who's supposed to be centuries old lives in that tower. Hey, Rygar, it sounds like you know just the old crone we need to meet. Yeah, take us to her. Um, well, I don't think... What? Some kind of problem? It might be considered a problem. She isn't the sort to just give anyone an audience. Yeah, right. Come on, let's go. Rygar, take us there. What I'm trying to say is... You dispute the word of your princess? Ugh. Very well. I will lead you there. The Sage's Tower lies to the north of the desert, across the volcanic path. But I don't know if she will see us or... North of the desert, across the volcanic path. Let's go then. As you say. As you say. As you say. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, party. I'm actually pretty happy, Rygar. So I have so much health. It just means he can tank stuff. Uh, skills. Support. Cut VPUs. Um. Support. Cut EPUs. Oh, reduces it by 20%. That's actually not that great. Um, hmm. What's better, raising EP or lowering the EPUs? Mm. I don't think it's worth it on anyone but Yuki, actually. I'm not really having a problem with anyone but Yuki, so. Um. Green's not a problem either. Yeah, that Simmer is. Simmer definitely is a bit of a pain in the butt. At least for now. It's just his moves cost a fair bit. Same with Yuki. I mean, I don't really use Karin for much else, so... Oh, looks like we don't need to talk to them anymore. Yeah, the Sage's Tower is... Just before you talk to the Sage, I know there's the Golden Lion. He's cool. He is cool as... Uh, <laughs> I think it's a bit weird if you don't even have to say goodbye. Oh. Come on, get in the picture. Damn it. I think we're going to have to call it there. So next time, hopefully, we uh, make it to the Sage's Tower. I don't know if we'll make it all the way up. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a traveling distance. Um, otherwise, enjoy yourself.